Today we're talking about the relationships of angles in circles, insides, outsides. So first of all, we have to talk about the tangent and intersected chord theorem. Okay? The tangent and intersected chord theorem says that if you have a tangent to a circle, tangent's a line that touches the circle in exactly one point, the point of tangency. So if we have a tangent to a circle, and it is creating an angle with a chord that intersects at that point of tangency, it turns out that the angle is half of the intersected arc. So angle one is half of this major arc C, B, D, B, and angle two is half of this minor arc C, D, which makes sense, right? How many degrees are there in a whole circle? 360. How many degrees are there in a straight angle? 180. So we have to deal with half of it, don't we? In order to get the angle, we divide the arc by two. If we want the arc, we multiply the angle by two. So far, so good? Okay, let's see it in action. So line M is tangent to the circle at point B. And we want to know the measure of the red angle or the red arc. So this red angle here at B is 110. How big is this major arc CBB going to be? 220, that's all there is to it. If you have the angle, you double it to find the arc. If you have the arc, you divide it by it's all we gotta two do. to find the angle. And one. That's it, right? Okay, so how do we find the measure of angle one? 100. It's going to be 100 because why? 180 minus 80 gives us 100. Straight angles or, or two linear pairs have to add up to 180. They're supplementary. 180 plus 180. And then how big would this big arc be? 200. Okay. If you notice that this arc is 160, we want to know this arc, and we know that the two arcs have to add up to 360. That works as well. Double the angle to get the arc. Okay, so far so good? What questions do you have on this slide? Hey, Jimmy, what questions do you have on this slide? M is the line. The name of the line. Lowercase m. Okay. Because they asked us to find the red angle arc. Okay. Questions on this one? No. All right, next one. This is not on your paper, but I want to explain how we can intersect using secants or tangents or chords. Okay? We have three ways that we can if we have two secants that are that are crossing through our circle. We have three ways that we can intersect those secants. One is inside the circle. One is on the circle, and one is outside the circle. So far, so good? Sure. Okay. Can we cross outside the circle, inside the circle, on the circle itself? So, that wasn't on your slide, on your sheet, but this one is. Okay. And this one says that if two chords intersect inside the circle, then the measures of each angle is half of the sum of the intersected arcs. Add the arcs and take half of it, you've got the angle. Okay, the way I like to think of it is I like to think of it as arc plus arc divided by two. Arc plus arc divided by two. That's going to get your angle. Arc plus arc divided by two. Okay. So again, the math is not hard here, right? We're not dealing with a lot of complicated algebra. All we're doing is adding two things and dividing by two, or in the previous situation, either doubling it or having it. Okay. Okay. So if I wanted to know what arc CD was, I would have to know the angle and the other arc. This plus this divided by two is this. Arc plus arc divided by two is angle. That happens when we intersect inside the circle. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Are the angles themselves like congruent because they're vertical? Very good. And the angles themselves are congruent because they're vertical. Okay. So angle one would be congruent to this angle, and this angle is congruent to angle two. So all of those properties still hold. Okay. Which is why we average them up. Okay. All right. So we want to find S. So in this first example, we're looking for an angle. So you add 104 plus 70 and you divide it by 2. Okay, so 104 plus 70 gets us 174. Divided by 2, 87. So, on your paper, I need to see that you're showing work, okay? I know you're going to plug it into your calculator, but I can't be looking over your shoulder to see what you plug into your calculator. So, you tell me that you take 104 plus 70 divided by 2, you plug it in your calculator, you get your answer, you write your answer down. Okay, does it say it? So, now, the next one, we said arc plus arc divided by 2, right? Yeah, Okay, so we have an arc, right? Do we have another arc? No. No, we don't know its value yet, do we? So don't let it change. We don't want to throw the 67 in the middle. It's arc plus arc divided by 2 equals angle. Add the arcs, divide them by 2, and you get the angle. Okay? Now, how do we solve that if we have um, 85 plus x being divided by 2? What's the opposite divide? Multiply. Multiply. So we're going to multiply both sides by 2. You're going to go next door if you can't quite. Okay, 85 plus x will be equal to 167 times 2 is 134. What do we do to get the x by itself? Subtract 85. What is that thing about 5 and 85? Um, it was supposed to be this one, a plus sign, sorry. What is that number 6? So 134 minus 85 is? You did 67 times 2, 49. Yes. Okay. 49. Yeah, this is 19 times. We're not a space. Okay, questions on this one? When they intersect, chords or secants intersect inside, we add and divide by 2 to get the angle. Add the arcs, divide by 2. Only if it's inside. Only if it's inside. Okay, thank you for the segue. What happens when they're outside? Okay, so when they're outside, here's a tangent and a secant making two intercepted arcs. Here's, here are two tangents creating two intercepted arcs. And here are two secants creating two intersected arcs. Where do these guys meet? Outside. When they meet outside the circle, we have to subtract the arcs and divide by two to get the angle. Inside we add, outside we subtract. Okay? So watch what happens. Okay? Half the difference. Oh, I want to find x. So, by the way, what's the point? Jimmy, shut up, man. Thank you for joining us to work. Across the hall. Yeah. If you're going to keep talking, yes. Okay? You can focus. Why capital arc, lowercase r? Big, big arc. Big arc. So when you subtract them, if you get a negative number, you know that you did something wrong, right? We want the big arc minus the little arc. Because it doesn't make sense to have a negative angle in geometry, does it? Yeah, At least not what we've been doing. Okay? So it does in trig and pre calc, but we haven't necessarily been exposed to that yet. So we want to take the big arc minus the little arc. So 148 
minus AD4. What do we do to it? Divide it by 2. Divide it by 2, and we get our angle. So what's one? And this is what you need to show for work, and then it's a calculator from there. So all we do for So 64 divided by 4 by 2 is 32. 32 is x. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. No idea. What's my big arc here? A. What's my little arc? And we're outside, so we average the track. Divide it by 2, and we get 26. That works too? No, not to 112. Well, let's, so what's going to happen here? I have, I'm currently dividing by 2, so I have to multiply by 2. And 26 times 2? So what are we going to do? Add 44, we get? Is that what you got your way? Yeah. Okay, just write it down with your set. Sorry, I'm on your paper and you're fine. Okay, so if you find another way of doing it that makes sense to you, show your work. Make sure you get the right answers, and it doesn't have to be this particular method. Wait, what are we all doing here? So, last one. What are we doing here? There's one more after this one. We need inside or outside? Outside. Outside. So, outside we need to subtract, right? So, we know our angle will be equal to our big arc minus our small arc divided by 2. But we only know our small arc. Can we find our big arc? How many degrees in a whole circle? Oh wait, you can say minus one point five. Not one eighty, but three sixty. So three sixty minus one twenty five will give us our major arc. And then if two thirty five is our major arc, we plug it in here. Big arc minus small arc, 235 minus 125 is? 110. 110 divided by 2? Oh, my God. Easy, right? The math in this chapter is not hard, but we have to remember it all. we got to keep it all straight, right? Central angles equal to intercepted arcs. Let's try the angles half the intercepted arcs. Adding the arcs if they're inside and dividing by two, subtracting the arcs if they're outside and dividing by two. Okay. But the math is important. Okay. Question? Dalton, did you have a question? Okay. Okay. So, last one. Okay. This is This isn't difficult. Okay. This one's just a time saver. Okay, it says that if you know you have two tangents to the circle from the same point of same exterior point, if, if you know the inscribed angle, sorry, the central angle, it's going to, the exterior angle will be half 180 minus that interior angle. That central. Okay, 180 minus the central angle. Okay, let me show you why that works. Okay, according to that, if you can remember this little obscure theorem, what's 180 minus 127? 53. So x should be 53 degrees. That's all you have to do, if you can remember that. Right? But if you can't remember it, 180 minus 127. But a lot of times there's so many theorems, my students can't keep track of them all. So the other way to think about this is if this is 127 degrees central angle, then this arc is also 127 degrees. Central angle equals this intercepted arc. Okay, and then this one has to be 360 minus the 127, right? What's 360? No, I'm saying like the 127, wouldn't you multiply that by 2 since that's bigger, like that's a bigger... If you, yes, if it was an inscribed angle, you would. 
It's not. But it, this is a central angle. Okay. Yeah. So central angle equals this arc. So you have to keep track of whether I'm working with a central or an inscribed or one that's free. How, how do we tell again? Anytime it has a center point vertex, then we know it's a central angle. Okay. And it equals this arc. Okay, so if we took the 360 minus the 127, 233, so I'm going to call that 333. So if I subtract the 233 minus 127, because they're outside, right, divide by 2, I should get my 53. That's just the harder way. It is the harder way. So if you can remember this little theorem, that saves you some time. 180 minus the central angle gives you this guy. Okay? All right. We'll skip the challenge problem for today because you are anxious to get started and do your work. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, you're done? Oh, you're done?